What are cryptocurrencies? Hmm, good question. But let's start with something that's just a tiny bit easier. What aren't cryptocurrencies? In fact, cryptocurrencies aren't like anything we're used to having in our wallets or keeping track of in our bank accounts. They're not this, this, or this. These items all represent currency that the Bank of Canada stands behind. And the Bank of Canada does not stand behind cryptocurrencies. Neither does any other central bank or government, or in fact any institution. Which is what we mean when we say that cryptocurrencies are decentralized. Even though cryptocurrencies are decentralized, it doesn't mean that they don't follow any rules. They do. It's just that those rules exist outside the traditional financial system and within a computer network. In 2009, Bitcoin, the first decentralized digital currency, introduced a technology known as the blockchain. Imagine the blockchain as an enormous ledger in which every transaction on the network is recorded, making sure no user can cheat the system by spending the same money twice. Thousands of specially equipped users around the world, known as miners, verify these transactions. Recording them on the blockchain earns those miners new Bitcoin. It's a permissionless system. That means nobody needs permission to become a user or a miner, and no institution is in charge of the system. But why go to the trouble of using cryptocurrencies? What's wrong with cash, debit, and credit? Some people are in favor of money that is not managed by governments, that functions outside of existing bank systems, a political statement. Others regard cryptocurrencies as investment opportunities. If you're able to catch cryptocurrencies on the way up and sell before they head down in value, you can make a tidy sum. Just like cash transactions, there is no exchange of personal information when you buy something with cryptocurrencies. With them, users can now make transactions online anonymously. This can be attractive for many reasons. But nothing's perfect. It may be possible to use information outside the blockchain to reveal the identity of a user. The FBI used that kind of information to help shut down Silk Road, an illegal goods trading platform that used Bitcoin. Concern over cryptocurrencies is growing. A number of countries, including Canada, plan to develop coordinated policies to regulate this new form of currency. Cryptocurrencies are on the rise. It's a story still unfolding.